Libra, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading. My darlings, it is Libra season, okay? First and foremost, it is Libra mother loving season. Breaker, breaker, one, two. Please stand by. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, of course, you know, this is a judgment free zone, but you will hear the truth. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms. He, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. I'm going to say it all, but pay it no mind. Okay. Feel the energy. Remember roles can always be reversed. This reading is, is timeless. If it found you or you found it, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. I thank you all. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Okay, specifically, I want to tell you that uh, the animals called to you guys first, and I didn't want to touch on, um, I kind of, how can I say that? Um, bah, 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 bah. Animal energy, the, the way it was coming in, it was kind of like how the collective is com um, communicating with you, you know, how... Um, Spirit is communicating with you, how vibration is communicating with you and things like that. But uh, the oracles of the seven energy, it seems to have your perspective of your communication to um, that energy. And I think I wanted to go with your um, energy first. You know what I'm saying? Now, if the animals continue to call, I'll pull them out. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did bypass that message, okay? Um, I just feel like you're more focused on your core. It's like, you know, who's taught, like literally there's an insect. I don't know if a little, uh, it's an insect, something small, mosquito or gnat or whatever, fly, whatever. And it's not a normal insect. And you know that, you know, and you're saying like, I know you're saying something and you don't know what they're saying, or you're not receiving, or you're trying to understand and not be annoyed at the same damn time. Hello. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But that's how you came in. Lots and lots of communication. Lots of, um, I don't even know how to say it. Just so much communication uh, by way of animals, by way of vibrations, by way of energy, um, energy shifts. Um, some of you, you could see the, that might be small. I'm seeing three, so I'm gonna keep this short. Three of you. Um, you laid on your bed and you saw that dark whirlwind like around and you saw a center figure um, on the edge of the whirlwind, like a, like almost as if this figure's arms was smoke and you knew you couldn't be touched. You knew, you know, you just knew you were wrapped. You knew you were covered. You knew you couldn't be touched and you actually smiled. And I'm going to tell you this. Your power came through the smile. It was that confidence and it might seem a little cocky. I ain't gonna lie, you know, it might seem a little cocky, but it was that confidence that actually made you untouchable, okay? All right, so you definitely, God bless you, God keep you at all times. Um, let's go Libras, because we're not gonna get into that for three people. We're gonna keep this general. Libra energy, please. Oh, this is going to be an interesting season, I tell you. <laughs> Very interesting season. There's a powerful move taking place, guys. Yeah, tall tale coming in. Um, Libra, you're unfortunately about to make a large exposure. And I'm saying unfortunate for somebody else because it ain't damn you. Um, this is a powerful move here. The key is in the keyhole. Okay, uh, this is world energy. Okay, so we're talking travel, um, closure, uh, communication, moving, you know, all at, at like large in the large scale, in the large scale of the energy. And this powerful move is going to expose this, this tall tale, this uh, Muppet, I guess, character um, has been sitting on a secret for a long time. That's why the hat got so darn big, you know? It's been sitting on something. There's something under this hat that has to come out. 
it has to come out, all right? Um, in the meantime, again, this is the effects. This is something around, but within you, you're focused, so focused on your development, on your enlightenment, on your growth, you know, that you can't help but feel the growth now, okay? You feel it. You feel love, you feel joy and peace and uh, serenity, all of these great things in the midst of trials and tribulations, you know? And it's not like, you know, you didn't always have the bills because sometimes you look at them bills and they like literally drag you to the floor. And now you're looking at them like, okay, I got bills, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep, got them. Yep, got that part covered. Mm -hmm. I'll pay them as soon as I get it. I get it, we're going to circulate it. You know, it's going to come in, it'll go right back out. It'll circulate. It'll come in, it'll go right back out. It's going to circulate, okay? Uh, we have the call of the muse coming in to be an example, to be the blueprint, okay? To be the blueprint because you're about to be blessed, bearing fruit, okay? So make sure you hold to what's dear to you. Hold to uh, and stand strong on your beliefs. Um, hold to and stand strong on your foundation, Okay, what nurtures you, um, what edifies you in spirit, things like that, because ancestors are coming and they are coming in like masses, masses, Ma I can't, I can't, I can't even, masses, like thousands. For some reason, I it never dawned on me and it's only because I can I can attest to what I like I feel or I see when I'm communicating with my squad there's literally two three you know every now and then I'll get a fourth but that's a seasonal situation but to have thousands behind you god darn you don't even understand how it's almost as if how can I say that like as if they're coming in as pieces to form your wings, like for lack of better terms, just to put an idea of what I'm saying. Like you see the cartoons where things come together and create, like the Transformers, exactly like the Transformers. The cars will come together and be one big robot. And that's how this feels to me. You know what I'm saying? So I am uh, like overwhelmed right now, right, uh, energetically, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> very overwhelmed. Like I tried to watch the game yesterday outside and I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't do it. It was just so much evil in the place that I couldn't stay. My stomach started getting upset. I was getting nauseous. I started getting dizzy. I couldn't not like literally just be around foolishness at the way I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Woo. But Libras, Libra, Libra. This season, it's not even about your birthday. It's almost like a, um, mm, how can I say this? It's not about a birthday. It's more about, they have, okay, think of time capsules. I'm not gonna open this capsule. They've had them, what, 50 years, 100 years, 150 years, whatever. That's how the season coming in for us feels to me like a time capsule is going to be open and it's going to allow us to kind of have a more access or, or something or uh, I don't know how to put it in words. I'm rambling. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really excited for us because it has just really been a journey for all of us. And I know for me personally, and I just want to claim the victory in advance. You know what I mean? Can I have a center? For Libra, what's at the core right now for Libra? Please and thank you. Can I have a center? Thank you so much. Hmm. What'd I say? High priestess. High priestess energy in tune, connected. I'm telling you, there's an elevation happening in spirit. There's an edification happening in spirit. There's a strengthening happening in spirit. And it's going to allow you foresight to make spiritual choices prior to any type of physical contact, prior to any, oh, how can I say that? 
I don't know how to say that. Um, let me say this. High Priestess, first of all, Piscean energy for those that follow the signs. Listen, I try to mention them, but when I get rolling, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna forget, okay? Don't go by signs. Feel energy to know if you're resonating, okay? But there's always choices, even in spirit. You understand? But High Priestess has a direct connect. She has foresight. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful, intuitive energy. Um, and it allows you to know before everyone else knows and or or what what so that you can be prepared, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's an energy of foresight. Um, and she don't talk. Okay, this is not an energy that talks. The Ten of Swords is here because this prep, you know that this uh, some type of betrayal, tall tale, is coming to an end. This is coming to an end. You know this is coming. You know that even if this was a lie that you have built your whole life on. Mm, that went through me. Let me say that again because I love you. Even if it's a lie that you built your whole life on, your entire existence has been based on I'll never be like that. I'll never be like that. I'll need just that negative Nancy, you know, but it was forceful and, and passionate for you. So you built on that. It made you strong. You know, things like that are even coming to an end. We talked about cleaning the house, you know, as an example, how anger and rage helps you clean, helps you get things done. But now we're trying to tap into another source because that's a part of the healing process. You know what I'm saying? Crown this energy, please, for Libra. Crown this energy. Matter of fact, can I know? I just want to, guys, if you don't mind, I want to break protocol. What does the high priestess know? What's hanging over her head right now? Ooh, shamalama ding dong. The devil in reverse. The high priestess knows. I cannot. OMG, I just told you, I said, the three of you saw a figure, a dark figure. The arms went out, but the arms weren't arms. They were, it was smoke, like kind of trying to surround you around your bed, around your room, around your house, around your life, whatever the case is. However, whatever your experience was, even if it came by way of those insects I was telling you about. So, you know that this is hanging over your head, that it has no control no more. The, the, the release has happened. It can no longer bother you. There's no more uh, string if, if it was your puppeteer. You know, the, the strings have been cut. You know this, but there is still a spiritual decision that needs to be made here, which I think is kind of your forward movement, which is why now your ancestors are coming in because of that freedom to help you fly. God darn, this is moving through me. Come on now. Um, let me also have, let me also have a crowning on top of that devil in reverse. I want to go back to protocol now because yeah, bip, 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 bip. new connections, two of cups, healthier connections, two of cups, someone that gets you, people that understand you and you aligning with spirit. For some of them, uh, some of you, the two of cups energy can still represent you aligning with your ancestors, with your angels, you know, with you, uh, those that are helping you on this journey that is crowning you along with this freedom. So it's still, all of this is kind of doubling down on what I'm, I'm trying to explain to you energetically. Let me see what's with it the wheel of fortune to change your life. Oh, to change the course of your life. I just heard, excuse me. Oh, I definitely stay corrected. Come on now. What's working against Libra right now? What's in the way? What's working against Libra right now? What's in the way? Please and thank you. Oh, I don't do the floor. Let's not get too excited. I can be the only one excited here. Come on now. Okay, and I have the four of pentacles. So holding on to old ways, old things um, that to you hold value because it's been with you um, and it has helped you uh, and how to release that and just have nothing and trust that God is going to provide is hard. 
You know, again, I bring you back to the example that I gave you of cleaning. When you rage clean and you know you're in those cabinets and you're under that sofa and you're cleaning the, the windows and, you know, you're really getting down to that nitty gritty spring cleaning, music blasting, have to stop and do a two step. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that has helped you. You can definitely that next day look at uh, wake up in that clean house and say, ah, oh, and feel so much better, you know, but it's not the fact that all of those abilities uh, are not in you. It's the, it's the way you got started. It's the rage. So if we can do those things uh, by way of uh, joy and excitement and love and optimism and hope and expectation and things like that, if we can just do an exchange of positive to give us that same motivation as opposed to the negative, that has helped us survive. I'm not going to deny it. That has helped us survive, but that season is over. That season is over. So not letting go of that will work against your energy. Okay? Now let's see where this is coming from. What brought this on for Libra? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it said the world. Where is this coming from for Libra? Past in it. I have the King of Swords. So Libra, you started really speaking your truth. And then I have the Hermit. Yeah. Separated yourself from people, places, and things. Hermit is a uh, Virgo energy. It's actually applying um, knowledge, experience um, into your everyday life. Uh, turning it, it, you know, it can be wisdom. How can I say that? It, it's wisdom that's... Um, it becomes wisdom because you're applying the knowledge. You know what I mean? Um, so it may be a time where you say, you know what? I really can't keep doing this. And you keep doing it. And then you say it again. I can't keep doing this. And then you keep doing it. And then one day, and you know absolutely why you shouldn't do whatever it is. You know, um, like me and spicy food. Lord have mercy. I love it. But it just don't love me no more. My body is different now, you know. And something as small as that, I have to, like, look, I can't do this. I really just can't. I love it. I love the smell of it. But I have to be honest with myself. I can't do it no more. Okay? It hurts me now. It literally internally hurts me now. So I had to really be, I have a, have a hard conversation, King of Swords, with myself. It's telling myself, stop being a dummy. Hello? You know what I'm saying? Stop being a damn dummy. What is wrong with you? You know, it, because over time it was, it, it hurt a little bit. My stomach might hurt a little bit, but I get past it. And then over time it got worse and worse and worse. And now to a point that it literally tears me up. I'm bent over in pain from a good jalapeno. You know what I mean? And it's hard. It's hard. Believe me, it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> But once I've just applied the knowledge, I don't have those problems. Yes, I do miss the peppers, but I can now, I can still do like a banana pepper. You know, I had to compromise. I really just had to compromise. I had to let go of that super spicy, you know? So where are we going with this for Libra? Future energy? Where are we going with this? And I have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That means that this gift is freely given. You won't have to lift a finger. The work has already been done. The release has happened. This devil has to pay. You know what I mean? And your ancestors are going to make sure you're good. The work is done. Yeah, Knight of Swords, communication. You might be getting a phone call, a letter, text. It, uh, <laughs> with the Five of Swords, Queen of Swords here. Yeah, conversation. There you go. So you're going to get a phone call, letter, text, something like that. Knight of Swords, okay? You're going to handle it with sovereignty and respect. Uh, Queen of Swords energy is very fair. 
uh, very logical and teaching, okay? And this person is going to try to extend their lie, five of swords, okay? Almost as if to say, and the page of pentacles, this is what they want to talk about. Um, so if this is like this, think of this puppet calling you, right? Now here you are sitting in this beautiful sovereign energy, logical energy, uh, very fair, very truthful, okay? And this puppet calls you and says, nah, 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 nah. I got this and you didn't have that and yeah, this is that and yeah, that's that and this and that and that and this when it comes to either some type of finances or maybe your child or some type of games or whatever the case is. You understand? The thing about it is the only thing that they're doing is securing your destiny. Lover's energy is here. Okay? They're securing your destiny. This conversation or this letter or this um, exchange, whatever it may be in your life, is going to double down that I know I did the right thing. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm in the right place. That's what it's going to do. It's going to validate you. Okay. Lover's energy does talk about a union, you know, so you may be meeting your divine uh, partner and it also represents getting on your divine path. Okay, most importantly, away from foolishness, six of swords, away from toxicity, away from the storm, away from chaos. Okay, uh, recalibrating six of pentacles here. This is mana energy. So you have what you need and you've been provided what you need when you needed it. Okay, but now what's up and coming is control. Boss energy. Emperor is coming in here. Emperor is coming in. Mm. Emperor is coming in here. Uh, I'm sorry to say that somebody is actually going to have to make a decision that they don't want to with this Two of Swords uh, uh, to pursue something legally. Um, yeah. Actually, literally somebody is... I'm looking at a wheelchair. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave that alone because that's, that's a, a horrible situation. It really is. Um, but embody the Empress... Tame the beast in you. Whatever you decide, do it wholeheartedly uh, from a place of integrity, you know? And if you feel that you are being called and used to correct or to teach, then please do so, okay? Um, yeah, please do so, you know? Your relationship with God is personal, so however he directs you, that's how you move, you know, that's how you move. All right. So continue to expect great things. Three of wands. Okay. Um, try to focus on the here and now more so than the past or future with this two of pentacles. That's how this kind of feels to me. I would normally talk about like time management or feeling overwhelmed. This doesn't feel like that. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. It's It more so is focusing on view like yeah like a viewpoint so uh not the past not the future the here and now okay yeah one thing at a time page of swords is coming in so if you your bills are overwhelmed and you okay so you do things that you know that you the most important first if you need to list them down on a piece of paper then that's what you need to do and then just check them off as you get it done whatever you need to do Okay, um, but you're not stuck. That's why I said you just make this list. You're not stuck. Eight of Swords is here. Don't let your responsibilities overwhelm you to a point that you can't see your way through. You know, deal with the here and now. All right, deal with the here and now and let God be God. The chariot is here to kind of take you right out of that as long as you're willing. You know, you have to be present. This is Cancerian energy. This is like that Uber coming to pick you up. You just have to have the destination in mind. Okay. Um, yeah, the, you come, um, it's not uncommon for you to always have the energy of a past love or a connection returning, um, trying to heal and mend and re-enter your life. 
Um, I have to mention Sagittarius because of this temperance. I'm smelling more Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, and Gemini. Yeah, big time. A little bit Leo too. Yeah. But um, you're living your best life. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I trust that um, by this time that you are emotionally more mature and secure that whatever decision that you make would be the best for you. Be it that just say, no, thank you. I want something new with this Ace of Cups or um, sure, let's do it and reconcile with this Ace of Cups because the Ace of Cups is divine love. It covers both, okay? It covers both. There's a Scorpio energy. Death is right behind it, yeah. This could be that old, see, again, the old life dying, you embracing the new, if it's the relationship, or the old you dying and then becoming the new you, you know, with a whole broader and um, more intuitive perspective from death to the hangman, okay? Yeah, new beginning right behind that with the fool. So a uh, fresh start, new opportunities, new beginning. This is a clean slate. But in order for you to have a clean slate, a clean plate, that means you have to clean your plate. And remember, if what Four of Pentacles is holding on to old things, holding on to stuff, and to have a new beginning, you got to start from zero. But look at the zeros going straight to the Ten of Pentacles. Don't hold on. Let it go. You're not losing anything. You are gaining everything. Okay? This is abundance in all areas of life. Your health, your finances, your uh, job, your family, whatever that is to you. You know, family isn't always blood. You know what I'm saying? But the Ten of Pentacles represents um, abundance in all areas of life. It's a firm foundation for generational uh, wealth to grow. You know, Ace of Swords coming in with divine clarity and now probably assistance for this next chapter that's coming through for you. Yeah, because you have edification. You have a growth here with the Hierophant. That's growth, you know. So some of you have completed your last assignment. Um, and you fulfilled your contract and you're stepping into now your new assignment. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, your new assignment. Um, God darn. Yeah. Big time. Remember I was talking about that rage cleaning, this new assignment in your life, you might find yourself kind of, or, um, people drawn to you that are powerful in anger. Um, specifically young people. I don't know if maybe you're a teacher or a therapist or a counselor or something. Um, but this is very, very powerful energy, but it's so much anger at the source, you know? Um, and people really discount trauma. I know trauma is bad. You're supposed to heal and grow and all that stuff, but you know, uh, trauma has helped a lot of us survive, you know? And that just, I think, uh, it, it goes unspoken. You know, you have people that grew up with alcoholic parents and they don't take a drink because they had alcoholic parents. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they just knew they never wanted to be like that. Gambling parents that lost it all, they so they don't gamble. They knew they never wanted to be like that. So uh, if you look at it in that respect, it does give you a positive, uh, something positive that you've gained out of it. It's just that the source is still trauma. You know what I mean? So now that I think you've learned that, I think that some of you, your new assignment is to teach that, if that makes sense. Because people hold on to their trauma because it's something tangible in their lives that helps them cope with their everyday life. It was the way that they got out. You know what I mean? And I think that you're going to help people with that because there's a lot of... The Six of Cups is emotional balance. This Five of Wands is conflict. It's internal. So, you know, it's, it's like finding balance through chaos. 
you know? And I think that your next assignment will be to help people discern what's important to take from that trauma and what's important to leave behind that from that trauma. Seven of Pentacles is right behind that, you know? And that's a discernment kind of energy. It's an energy of, let me figure out what's important, what I need, what's for me, uh, what's going to nurture me, what's going to feed me, things like that. Um, and then what I, you know, whether or not I should even leave all of this or take some of it and run or whatever the case is. Do I continue to put my time, energy and effort into this thing or do I walk away? Discernment, you know? All right. Um, heavy portals. All right. Four of wands. This is eight of wands. I have four of wands and I have the seven of swords. So let me say this. Um, If you feel that you have a sound connection with someone that is deceitful with you or withholding information or withholding some type of truth, yeah, the nine of swords is right behind it. So you may feel a little anxious, a little betrayed uh, about that situation. You're probably right. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So if you think they're out there doing whatever they're doing, they probably are. Let me say that again. If you think they're out there doing what they're doing, they probably are. Okay. Um, from what I can see here, this is not nothing new. The Knight of Wands is very open and direct. So this person may have been like this before. Um, you married them or you committed to them. Yeah, it's definitely a commitment. So you might be engaged. But before you did that, yeah, they were like that. It's no different. It's the nine of wands by, behind it. You know, what are you going to do about it is where you are right now with that. That if that that, that situation applies to you, what are you going to do about it? You know, um, the nine of wands is not really doing anything more so protecting itself from further damage. That's nine of wands energy. You know, this is somebody that feel like, look, I made it through. I got a little piece of mind left. Okay, and a little piece of land, and a little couple of dollars. I'm gonna protect this because I still got some fight in me. All right, and if that's what you're doing, fine. But then what? See, as you grow, understand that emotional maturity is required, and emotional maturity does not just uh, include like healing and love and. Bada bing, bada boom, whatever, you know. It's also about honesty. You know, emotional maturity brings emotional intelligence. Okay? You might love that toddler and you don't want to see that toddler cry, but they want that piece of candy, you know? So you break down and you give them the candy knowing it's going to hurt their stomach and they had enough. No, because an emotionally intelligent person, I'm not going to allow you to hurt yourself just because I don't want to see you cry. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. There's a difference. All right. So think about that when you have that decision to make about any type of movement in your life. Um, emotional maturity requires emotional intelligence. Okay. And this is how you work things out. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Whether or not you need help getting this, uh, Three of Pentacles can be therapy. Um, you know, you bouncing all ideas off of a safe space. You know, if you have friend or family member or whatever you can talk to, but it represents like teamwork making the dream work. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that kind of allows you to still have enjoyment and be fully enlightened at the same time with the sun. And that's the beauty of the sun's energy. It's to be fully aware and happy. You know, when you first go through a couple of awakenings, it's hard because sometimes knowing the truth is not easy. You know, I even talked to you guys, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was Libras about like when you're a kid and you find out Santa Claus isn't real or the Tooth Perry isn't real or the Easter Bunny isn't real. It's like, oh, damn, 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's a letdown. But to actually have joy and happiness and celebration in your life and be aware, have all the lights turned on, you're not being tricked, that's a different kind of happy. Okay? And that's what the sun brings you. Leo's energy, by the way. Okay? All right, let's stop there because we are way ahead. And it's been too damn long. But so much energy came up. I, I, I'm just so excited for um, many, many, many things uh, that are happening with you guys, with myself as well. I look forward to this growth. I look forward to this uh, redemption, you know. Um, and I wish the best for you, each and every one of you, okay? If any event, you say, look, green eyes, this one's not for me. I'm okay with that. You know I am, all right? Check your moon or rising this time. Just don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Libra. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel, okay? If you're interested in more content, I do post more uh, boomstick level energy and Leap of Faith gets a little, but they both get giveaways, okay? Jump on board whenever you like. Other than that, guys, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.